All the kids, can you wave so I know where you are? Bernard up the back, hello. All right, everyone, thank you. Well, there's lots of you here today. So we have got Team Connerty helping out today. So Warren is going to hold one end of this rope. And Warwick, could you hold the other end? Please, the Kids Talk brought to you by Syro's Cotton Breeding team today. All right, now what we are going to do, so um, Bernard soon will give us a sermon, but what we're doing today is starting a new series. We're going back to Genesis, which we looked at as a church about a year ago, but we're starting off from where we left off. So I thought it would be handy for the kids to try and remember what's happened in Genesis chapters 1 through to 20, so that when Bernard gets up and starts his sermon, we kind of know where we're at in the story. But that means I've got lots of pieces of paper here and we're going to arrange them in the order that they're supposed to go in, but I need your help to arrange them right. And adults, we need your help too. The energy levels in the first service were not really what they could have been, so let's try and make this one work. So what I want you to do, I'm going to give Seamus or Millie a piece of paper and you have to tell them where in the storyline it goes. Does it go down this way and they need to peg it on down here? Or is it back towards Genesis 20 and they need to peg it on here? So we'll start with an easy one. So can everyone tell Seamus where to go when he's holding this one, which says creation? Which direction? All right, everyone's saying down that end. I think you're absolutely right. Start of Genesis was creation. All right, now I'm going to give Millie this one because she loves rainbows. So what do you think's happening in this picture, Andy? What do you think this picture's about? Noah's Ark and the flood, that's right. So where do you think that goes here? That way, in the middle. Okay, we're getting a few in the middle signs, so we'll put it in the middle. Julie says kind of that side of the middle. So Millie, why don't we put you over here? Seamus, can you plug Millie on? All right. Now Seamus, here's your next one. This one says sin. So where's Seamus going to go? Yeah, that's it. Your thumbs down for sin, you're right, Georgie, but which way does he need to go? That way? Do you think he's in the right spot? <laughs> Sorry. The, the pegs are working seamlessly. Seamus obviously needs to hang more of his washing out at home. All right. Millie, this is going to be your next one. This is Abraham wandering around. He's going down to Egypt. He's going around. So where are we going to put this one? Which side of the flood does that go on? Warren, can you spread the line out because the, the rainbow is much too far along. All right, that's Abraham wandering around. What about God's promises to Abraham? Does anyone remember what that happened? Seamus, plug on the promises. Giselle, what do you think? Warren, you've, you've gone too close. <laughs> Okay, so the promises are before he started wandering around, in between here. Gosh, this is hard work. Okay, and then we've got the um, Sodom and Gomorrah. When Abraham was in Sodom and Gomorrah, we're going to put it up this end? All right, Roz says this end. All right, so you hold this and we'll just remember what has happened in Genesis 1 to 20. You want some nuts. Okay, so at the beginning, God created the world and the world was perfect and wonderful and good. And then sin, Adam and Eve sinned and sin came into the world and everything was spoiled. So God judged the world, but he did save one family and that was Noah and his family. Um, he had mercy on them and he judged the world. Then out of Noah's family, he had three sons and out of one of those lines, there was a man called Abram and God made some promises to him. And when you do your sheep, kids, it's got, it's got some of the promises that he made to him. He's going to have lots of kids. He's going to have a land to live in. He's going to be a blessing to the world. But then there was, as Bernard will outline, 25 years up to Genesis 20. He wandered around. He went to Egypt. He went to lots of different nations. So he's where we're at in the story now is he's still waiting. He's waiting for all those promises. He's waiting for them to be fulfilled. And that's where we're at in the story now. So thank you all for your help. And hopefully now this is where we're going to start. And these are the sheets that you have to do today, kids. Um, there's lots of different parts of the story so you can remember all the things that God's done up to this point in the story. Thank you.